Now that we are power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today this is going to be a tutorial on the unlimited power module I am standing right next to here. And quickly before this tutorial starts here, I do want to stress that this little module here was created by Daylight, a person in the Stormworks community. And um, Daylight actually put a boat out with this module on it that I recreated and redesigned to learn how it actually worked. And if you guys do want to pick it up, see the beginning module that Daylight designed, I'm going to leave that link down below in the links part in the description. But anyway, let's jump right into this tutorial here. Alright, so we are going to start with a fresh platform here and we're going to need all these things that I have down below as well as if you do want to put some dials or other microprocessors on here to look at power output, you can. Without further ado, let's jump right into building this thing. So each little module that outputs a decent bit of power constantly runs off of two of these jet turbines. And then we're going to be putting on a couple small electric motors to basically start them up and run them. And then all you need to do with those is connect them up with a lot of piping here actually. Um, and we're going to have this connected to three of these small pipes here. And have a little tree effect where all of this is going out to other small electric motors here. So we can actually finish off this little branch here and that one. Now we're going to be doing the same thing on the other side of both of these, having this droop down a little bit. But we're going to have to connect both of these together with one pipe here. So we're going to grab some T pieces right here and connect the two sides together. Now on all four of these spots, we're going to be putting small electric motors there. So now that all of that is done, we're going to want to connect up these two outputs here into one consecutive pipe. So let's do that really quick. And then we're also going to have the actual power generation with the generators over here. So we can run a large and a medium one here. And it doesn't have to be in this configuration. All you have to do is connect up the medium and large generator here to the output from your little module here. So once we have that done, we can do a little bit more to finish this thing up. So the last thing we need to do to get the module itself done is put a constant number down here, go to your select mode, and change your output value to one instead of zero. And now that we have all of that done, we're gonna go into our data and connect up all six of these motors to that value there. If you do have multiple of these stacked right next to each other, you can connect all of them up to one number, that is fine. And depending on how much power you need, you probably will need more than just one of these on one of your builds for a boat, car, plane, or whatever else you are building. Anyway, the last thing we need to do here to get this creating an infinite power source is just to hook up a electric battery to it. So we just go to each component here and connect them up. And if you guys don't know, one of the controls of Stormworks, when you are dragging a line from a battery or logic or something, you can drag it and hold control to click on multiple different things. So just a quick little tip to help you build this faster. And now that that is done, we have a perfectly working module here. You will hear that it does bring a little bit of that static noise while it is running. That is just the jet engine turbines running at their desired speed there to output power. And that's how this thing actually works here. All right, now that we have the base module done here, you can connect this battery up to whatever you want here. So if we want to put a little motor on the back end of a boat here, we can just connect that up. I would suggest that you put a breaker in between the battery and the motor itself, just in case you need it to recuperate a little bit of power. Um, due to the fact that this system is constantly running off of this battery. So if you drain this battery, then this thing is going to produce less power as the battery has less power in it. 
So if you put a breaker there, that'll make sure that you can turn off the motor whenever you need to help recuperate a little bit of power. And we're also going to be setting up a couple different um, calculation things here, just to show that we are creating an infinite power source here. I'm going to connect up the battery to it, as well as the amount of power we are producing from these two over here. So I'm going to quickly grab a add value here, and put that down right there. And we can connect up both sides of these generators to that add, and put it to here. I'm going to really quickly name both these as battery and as our power output from the generators of course and I believe the maximum value that one of them outputs is a little bit less than 80 here and you guys may be wondering why I put down the solar panel power production calculator and that is a mouthful but basically it's a little module I designed off of a, a, um, a timer and it basically calculates how much power we are getting losing or gaining per second on a battery so all you have to do is connect it up to the battery and then put the output to a digital display with those the decimal points as far as you can get it so you can see as many decimal points and that is our battery gain loss right there and if you guys do want to pick that up it is on the workshop with the same exact name i'm pretty sure i'll leave a link down below as well so you can just test if you are gaining or losing power per second on a battery and that might actually help you with other designs as well but anyway let's make sure we have power to everything here connect that up and i'm gonna spawn it in so now that that is all done I do need a throttle for the engine. I'll be right back with that. All right, we are back out here and I put the throttle for the engine in there. And as we can see through that addition factor over here, we are outputting somewhere between 77 to 78 um, power output. I don't exactly know what unit we're using, but both of those generators are creating that much when that is running. And it constantly runs with no fuel or anything. So. It is a really cool module and I've been working a little bit more to create a few different vehicles with it but for now we are going to give that little motor some power there and we're going to turn our throttle up just to see oh interesting so one module can run one electric motor with no resistance from any friction at 100% speed here but if we do pump up the amount of power this creates we are going to lose some power here and I'm gonna quickly show you guys why you shouldn't drain that power right there all right we are right back out here and I've switched that little small motor for a very large electric motor and we are producing power yet again but if we use that motor at enough speed as you can see we are get, or we are losing a little bit of power because this value is negative here we're losing a little bit per second and as the battery is losing power our power output is going down as well like I said earlier the amount of power is the amount of power you produce so if we turn off that breaker the battery is going to be gaining power and our power output goes up a bit as you can see we are gaining again in the plus for my little module there so just make sure whatever you are creating, if you want this power source to be infinite and not run out in the middle of the sea or somewhere on land, in the sky, whatever type of vehicle you are creating, just make sure that you're, you aren't using more power than you are creating itself. Yep, so that is the tutorial here. Alright guys, so that has been the tutorial here. If you guys do have any problems with it, you can leave a comment down below or join the community discord and I can help you there or other Stormworks players on there as well. But anyways, that is all the time I do have for some Stormworks today. So if you guys like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye, so if you need me and I need to go.